GM has been producing vehicles for over a century. And for nearly six decades, it has been working on developing hydrogen fuel cell propulsion technology, making it one of the global leaders in hydrogen fuel cell propulsion. I visited GM's fuel cell lab in Pontiac, Michigan to get a behind the scenes look at its fuel cell technology and learned about the benefits. GM says it plans to sell only zero emission vehicles by 2035. And according to Phil Leinart, GM's Director of Electric Vehicle, Autonomous Vehicle and Advanced Technology Communications, hydrogen fuel cells can help the automaker get there. So for customers that don't know much about fuel cells and wonder where they might fit into electrifying their vehicles, we really see them as a great fit to replace diesel powered applications. So we all know that regulations are changing in states like California. Fuel cells we see as a great way to meet those regulations while still have all the great capability that diesel engine would have given you. He says in addition to fuel cells being zero emission, drivers can benefit from their towing and hauling capabilities and a range that's similar to diesel powered vehicles. Over the years, automakers have believed hydrogen powered cars could have a big future as an alternative to diesel vehicles, which is one of the reasons back in 2017, GM and Honda formed a joint venture to produce hydrogen fuel cells. But Leinart says hydrogen fuel cell vehicles will coexist with EVs since each has a different use case. So we see hydrogen powered vehicles as being a great way to complete the overall circle of electrification. Lithium ion batteries through EVs, they're going to really fulfill the majority of the retail um, zero emissions transportation needs out there. But what hydrogen can really do that lithium ion batteries can't is fulfill the power needs, the energy needs of the bigger, heavier duty vehicles. And Leinart says automotive isn't the only industry that can benefit from fuel cells. GM has collaborated with other companies such as Wabatic Corporation for fuel cells and locomotives and Liebherr Aerospace for fuel cells and aircrafts. Leinart says GM will have more to announce on fuel cells later this year. Well, we've got some amazing agreements in place with companies in a variety of different industries, and we've got a whole bunch of other things in the works that we're excited to talk more about later this year. Leinart also reveals how GM has been working on hydrogen-powered mobile chargers, which he says are a great way to temporarily build out the grid for EV charging. So we live in Michigan. You think about folks going up north on the weekends, especially when the weather's nice. And right kind of in the middle of I-75, there's really not much in terms of charging infrastructure, particularly DC charging, fast charging infrastructure. So hydrogen powered mobile chargers are a great way to kind of temporarily build out the grid before the grid catches up to where the demand is. Whether fuel cells are being used to power mobile chargers or vehicles, GM's team at the Hydrotech Fuel Cell Lab in Pontiac has been working hard to enhance this technology to offer another way toward a zero emissions future. Check out autonews.com for more details on GM and other automakers' fuel cell efforts and the evolution of hydrogen fuel cells in the industry. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.